waiting on Ange. She says she'd be like five minutes, so. All right, here we go. Wait for a second. Hey, baby face, um, you almost ready? Yeah, I just need like five minutes. Cool, okay, sounds good. I had this like experimental hat situation <laughs> on earlier. Um, Very Kentucky Derby. We'll call it that. And, <laughs> and I decided that you know it was a no go, and so I had to lay the baby hairs down and just throw it up because yeah. it was a lot going on. Nope. I, didn't, I didn't want the first like fashion <laughs> statement to be made on you know freaking election night and like we're all dealing with a lot of emotions my hat does not need to be one of them yes yeah the, <laughs> like, the, the world is at odds enough we don't need to add your hat into the mix it was it, I, I didn't want to stress anyone else i vote for your hat Thank and you. and i also vote for this i, I um, mean who doesn't like a top knot once in a while you know what are we drinking we are drinking negronis which Ooh. i if you if you've been a part of the channel uh for a while you know that we drink these all the time but I've been having a problem with them lately. Not like a problem, like, I mean, I was still drinking them, but. Yeah, you were drinking them. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't know this problem that you were, I mean, I. They just tasted not perfect. And I was re very upset about it, but I figured out what it was. So this is the first batch of perfect, again, ones revisited perfection. Well, thank God. Ah. <laughs> oh, I mean. The best. The best Negroni, not that I've had out, in my entire life. Very sweet. You make them. You're very I mean, sweet. The I... best drinks I've ever had. <laughs> Hands down. Mixology bars. We live in New York City and LA half the time. Yeah, yeah. These got nothing. I I mean, I'm for, for the basics, like I'm very, very proud of them. And I I I love that. And thank you. No, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And if I, I, not, I will tell you the truth. I know you yeah. will. She will not mince words um I so the either way welcome uh so sorry to those of you who don't know what our favorite drink is welcome to part of love the safe space that we created to talk about all things love if you've ever had questions about love or dating or relationships and you feel like you can't find the answers anywhere hopefully we can help you here because you know that's what we do here we talk about love and relationships and dating and all aspects of what love is because it is not an easy subject and we are just expected to know about it yeah. so we kind of break down what those things are we've been together for over a decade and this is the culmination of that love we're sharing it with you so you can find the love you deserve yes and if you ever want to reach us please follow us on instagram at colt.and.ange you can reach us if you slide into our dms mm -hmm. oh my Yes. Okay. I was confused whether if you're it was new a here, into or you don't through. know that this is a win, mm. a big win for yes, her yes, yes, knowing yes, yes. that term. But you can slide into the DMs and you can ask us any question you want about love, life, relationships. It's all on the table. Um, we're excited to hear from you. Also, comment below so we can open up the dialogue and meet more people. Um, yeah. If you're new to the channel or for whatever reason are not already subscribed, we would love for you to subscribe. And if you dig the content, leave a comment, leave a like. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's get into it. What are we talking about today? Okay. This was. <laughs> you wrote it down I on did. a sticky I, note. I wrote it on a, a sticky note. Um, <laughs> I have these pads. They've been really helping me. They these have yellow been. sticky pads that I leave all around the house so it does look like i have a problem but it's helping me remember things and getting things done mm -hmm. either way i wrote this down on a sticky note today uh and it just it just came to me it was on my heart letting it go right we hear this all the time let it go just let it go or i can't let it go i just can't let it go they've apologized i've forgiven i can't let it go ah, okay, the okay, concept okay. of letting it go in relationships um and you know i'd like the focus to stay on like you know romantic relationships okay, but this cool. this goes for everything right but i think specifically like romantic relationships let's maybe focus on because there's a, there's a lot there to tackle um 
why do we hold on to shit in our romantic relationships? And, and why can't we let it go when it's past, it's in the past? They've hopefully, let's, let's, set the, let's set the scene though. They've hopefully apologized to the other party. Okay. You've apologized, whoever is at fault. You've forgiven, they've forgiven. Um, there's so much that goes into this. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's just make a mess of the room and clean it up. But why stealing my phrase? Can, didn't even say it why right. can't I didn't say it right? What is it called? Make a mess to clean it up? Nope. But I mean, I'm yeah, mess up yes, yes, to clean it up. Pretty close. I'm throwing the shit everywhere, <laughs> and I'm gonna clean it up after. <laughs> it's not even my statement. It was literally my <laughs> acting teacher from college, from sophomore year. Her uh -huh. name was Kate Jenny Jones, and she is a hoot. And a hoot. <laughs> I like hoots. She's quite a hoot. Okay. And she she said that that was her phrase mess the room up to clean it up mm. and you you Too throw nice. out yeah you throw everything out into the room you you get all of your ideas out there and then you kind of filter through them it's mm. essentially like a statement version of what the refinery is right oh, okay i like that i like yeah. that i mean the refinery is a <laughs> show on fridays that i do with john gorski and brandon alexander check it out here <laughs> sorry i just had to put that in there I like that. unless I like this that. is the, like a podcast if we've turned this into a podcast and you're listening to this, just imagine yeah. that I pointed to the corner of the screen on YouTube. Let's move on and back to letting it go. Yeah, so letting it go, like, why can we not let it go? You know, <laughs> like, why can we not do it? And it's hard. And I've, I've been in so many situations, all different situations, mm -hmm. why I have not been able to let shit go. Okay. So let's explore those situations kind of mm -hmm. individually. It's really funny that you bring this up today because I, promise we have not talked about this topic yet. And I, I watched uh, the Joe Rogan Experience podcast with Matthew McConaughey, not, oh. not the whole thing I was watching. I only got through a clip of it, but it was talking about um, how he was raised, uh, how yeah. his family dealt with issues. And he was like, my parents, and I can't do the Matthew McConaughey accent, but he, he was like, my parents would not go to sleep. You'd be up until the wee hours in the morning, you would miss school the next day, but you would not go to sleep holding a grudge. Ah. Because the way that they dealt with it was you, you, and you know, it also dealt with kind of corporal punishment and, and you know, getting spankings um, and that whole world. But also he was just saying like, once you got whatever your punishment was, and you until once you had that moment of crying it out and doing it you didn't bring that shit up anymore it was it didn't get to last you dealt with it yeah until it was dealt with and he, then and it's just i'm just saying as a yeah. as from a i, I think a, that though as a concept is a very interesting concept and i i you know i think matthew's been doing a lot of like interviews and um really? different like i like that i mean that, i think he's got a, a really interesting viewpoint absolutely um and it, it comes from a very genuine place. genuine educated wide perspective because i think he grew up very humble mm -hmm. um and, and now he's and now he's i'm so sorry to continue no of no of course but but he is some another podcast i was listening to that he did this week he talks about i grew up with such humble 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 like you know had no money parents you mm -hmm. know like old school in that way and then what happens when you become affluent and when you become you know your perspective widens and you've traveled the world and you've made movies and you've you have done such good in the world you've been yeah. able to you know but like your you know things start to shift so either way i think that is like sort of its own thing but i appreciate no i just what you were I, about to say because i took you off topic about letting yeah, it go he, yeah he's saying like he, was he would saying never go the, to bed angry not he the way that the his family. parents raised him oh. the family was kept awake until you had either fought it out or cried it out and right. loved each and said okay, we've come to this conclusion right. and I'm accepting this and it's done. Or you got your, you know, like your spanking. Mm. And, and after that, he was like, the days that I did shit where I got in trouble and got a spanking were also the days where dad took us across town to the burger joint and like took care of us. Cause it, it was the same day. He wasn't mad at you after that. When right. you got your punishment, you got what that was. And I think that's an interesting um it's such a I, I think it's a beautiful and interesting concept it's it's utopian uh mm. i believe and it's kind of mm. idealistic nature but i don't disagree with it if you 
if you can do it and if that's the way that you know that family did it yeah well, I, I mean know. I don't know how they did it psychologically I think psychologically it's really I think I think it it seems much simpler to just say it and put it on paper and if that is truly his truth which you know he doesn't seems, have to lie yeah. you know he has no reason to so that's that's quite phenomenal because I've witnessed a lot of families you know firsthand that the spanking is is not the end of it no. and nothing is resolved the hierarchy might feel like oh now I put you in your place you're sorry I can go to bed but I don't think um it, emotions don't work like that I don't human think, beings like, I don't emotions think that... sometimes take time <laughs> yes yes um, however what it so we, what it seemed like from that perspective was and this is just what I got from that you know hmm. snippet of interview right or a section of interview was that regardless of what else was underneath that hmm. it was not held against you after you had been if there was a punishment involved that's beautiful if and you can truly say that about it's, your it's not parents to say, or whatever, like i mean if, if if that was the case and it was like it's over once it's over great because well, because what's the what's the goal of of kind of what we're talking about like letting it go the, the goal is to get to a resolution is to communicate so openly and solidly that you come to a resolution that is is uh, effective for both people to at least understand what happened it doesn't yes. mean that you never talk about the thing that happened ever again it's mm -hmm. not because somebody and i think this is kind of what you're talking about to a degree i think a lot of times in relationships and relationships that i've been in and relationships that I've, I've watched happen through my friends and family right. you have somebody that let's say cheats when they come in and they, they apologize and they have a big tearful apology and then they expect well you're not allowed to get mad about it anymore i just apologize i apologize right. now sometimes that's all that can happen and the other person says not and i'm not saying in a cheating no, situation yeah, yeah. but if if you, something happens you and i've been in this situation where you'll do something wrong mm -hmm. i'll feel you know a certain way about it you'll apologize i'll accept that apology and then i'll still feel a certain way because i accepted it just to get you to just to get us to stop talking about it and to get away from it mm -hmm. and i think I that lack of communication is what ends up causing the problems with letting it go because i'm not yeah. actually i think we prematurely forgive we prematurely forgive expecting to forget but yes but i think there's there's a couple things that need to happen forgiveness Again, this I said that we we're focusing on relationships. Yeah, so apparently, sorry. And then not, immediately I went to Matthew McConaughey. No, apparently we're talking about all <laughs> things. No, but it's good. Forgiveness is it is off of me now, right? I forgive you means it is off of me. I love this. I will no longer harbor my anger towards you, mm -hmm. but that does not mean that you have access to me immediately. Yeah. Right. That does You're not, not mean, absolved of all wrongdoing just because, just because I, I forgive you want to carry that weight. does not mean that I'm it means that I'm no longer casting spells on you. <laughs> you know, basically, that, oh, that's basically gosh. what it means. Like I'm no longer like punching the voodoo doll in the face. But <laughs> but oh. I need to take my time <laughs> to come back to you yes. if I choose, if I choose. Yes and when I choose. And I think that's something that I did not learn until in my thirties, still mm -hmm. learning. I'm still in my thirties, but I, I mean, let's say I, like, I, what? I touched, I put my <laughs> toe into year 30 and I was like, I don't know about yeah. this. Um, and so it's been interesting um, to like sit with this concept and to grow with that and, and still like, I am uncomfortable, you know, firsthand, I'm uncomfortable yeah. with being like, no, I do forgive this person, but there's so many things that happen after forgiveness. After I forgive them, let's, let's come to terms with, it doesn't mean they get access to me. They don't get back in my life. We don't go back to the way things were ever because now we are affected. Yeah, well, now we're in a changed. new, we're in a new world. Right. We're to, forever, to ignore that is silly. Right. So where do we go from here? If they really want to be forgiven, if they are really worthy of, you know, ex let coming back in, and this is on a grand scale and a tiny scale, mm -hmm. right? Like the tiny thing is sometimes I do not deserve for you to say, it's okay, it's fine. Because I sometimes 
sorry, the laundry's going. Yeah. <laughs> um, like this month, for example, we had a major project on the line. It was going to be awesome. Um, it's no longer happening, which is totally fine. That's life. But in the process of it, I was throwing every egg and shell I could find in that basket, right? And I was not treating you as well as I should have been. I should, I was, could have been a better partner. And I was constantly, you know, I would be sharp and short and terse sometimes. And I was constantly though, catching myself and apologizing and not always, but when I could, I would catch myself and be like, shit, that like, I'm an asshole. I'm a fucking asshole. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry that came out so rude. I'm so sorry. And I would keep apologizing, but that at a certain point, that does not excuse my constant behavior. Angelina, get it together. Stop acting like this. Like, hold on a second, put a stop to this because that's the other thing. Why can't we let it go sometimes? Sometimes we're so damaged by like rep- repetitive, rep- repetitive, repetitive. The Negroni is really good. I mean, it's good. Not a first one. The, like this repetitive <laughs> behavior where we're like almost taking advantage of someone. Oh, 100%. so we like are a complete asshole. And then we're like, yeah. oh, I'm so sorry. Complete asshole. Oh, I'm so sorry. How many times can someone go through that before they're like, I can no longer let this shit go or slide or whatever? It, yeah. it becomes inexcusable, right? And so sometimes we put a blanket on things and we go, I just can't let this go. And I go, well, why can't you let it go to whether it's friends or clients? Let's, let's take this out of it. Why can't you let it go? What and why? And then they explain the situation a little further. And I go, you can't let it go because you're still being abused, taken advantage of disrespected, whatever it is, you can't let it go because you can, you can let that one thing go that one time, but then it happened again and it happened again. And then it happened today. And then it happened five Mm. minutes ago. And it, at a certain point you have to go, what is really happening here? I can't let it go. Stop taking blame for this. I am letting it go. They're not changing. She's bringing the truth tonight. Shit. Well, we're gonna have to get another round. I know, right? Fuck me. This is so it just came to me. I was like, this idea of when people say, and then and then when you're on the other end, and I've also been on the other end, so Mm -hmm. I'm not saying like, my god, I have been like that on a much worse scale, not just like "Ah," you know, Mm -hmm. like doing paperwork. I mean, like I've I've not been my best self. Um in, re- in other relationships to you, to you. And, and i mean vice versa but like i can only take responsibility for my stuff and i have not treated people well sometimes and apologized and done it again and again on a grand scale not just like yeah. paperwork. work no i'm, I'm with you <laughs> and and um yeah and and cheated and dealt with those things and and said i'm sorry a thousand times and truly i was taking advantage of that person for letting it go and letting it go and letting it go instead of changing my behavior. And I feel bad that I wish that person had the balls to call me out and be like, I'm not letting it go. Yeah. It's not there. What happened is not their fault, but their half of that responsibility. Yes. Yes. For calling it out. Acknowledge this. I also acknowledge that they didn't want it because there is something when you call it out, you have to acknowledge that you have to acknowledge. You have to acknowledge it. And also, but also, I think <laughs> and, and then to, from there, once you actually, if you force yourself to acknowledge something, then you can ignore it, right? Yes. So that. then you realize. And you can risk losing it. Exactly. So these people that I know I've been with mm-hmm. that I've hurt and they let it go, they let it go. They didn't call me out because they were nervous to lose our relationship. As if the relationship wasn't crumbling around them which is off and i've been on both sides of watching i just talked about this on our tuesday live show we do a show live on tuesdays i'll throw the playlist up here it's called coffee and tea it's it's so witty and (laughs) um and we just talk about the you know very similar subjects this Mm -hmm. is like shout out to kelly goff she uh kelly goff um so I think one of the things, and and one thing that I talked about on that episode was the relationship that I had been in where I was uh, taken advantage of in a way where I, I was taken advantage of in a very large way. And then just to be comfortable was like, no, it's fine. 
it's fine. I know you hate me, right. but it's fine. I'll date. Like, let's date. I know you hate me. It's totally fine. I'm all, I'm terrible. Like it's fine. And I just kept kind of doing that and doing that. And, and a lot of my relationships, I kind of, even though I, on the outside seemed like I, I kind of had this bravado, you know, masculine thing. Right. I, I think that most of the time I, I put myself in a kind of subservient uh, position in my relationships, but I think it goes back to one thing that you touched on a second ago, and I'll see if I can find it in the edit, but if I can't, like, we'll just keep going, um, is the Oprah thing, right? Like you, you let other people know, and I'm yes. paraphrasing highly in yes. my own voice, but you show people, you teach people how to treat you by yes. what you accept from them. You let them know what you are willing to accept. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, and I've talked a, a lot about this lately or touched on this a lot lately. And I think I made a video about this. Um, you know, there's, you have to understand what you will accept in a relationship and what you won't accept in a relationship. You have to love yourself enough to know what you are willing to stand by and let happen and what you're like, no, this is my foot down thing. And I think, I know for me and I know for a lot of my friends, and things that I've watched happen, we have just no fucking compass for that. We're, yeah. we're just totally like, we'll say, oh, I would never accept that. And then we meet somebody and they make us feel good and yeah. special. And then we just let them fucking slowly walk all over us because we're so scared to be alone. Yeah. Or, or maybe you've never experienced good love before. And so any, every, any, any attention, of any love, love is like, I'm terrified to lose this. Yeah. What if I'll, what if I never get this feeling again? I'd rather suffer with this than have nothing. Maybe this is love. I heard that one a lot when I was growing love. up, like just in, in general, I feel like it was. Love isn't easy. Oh my God. I, so I had somebody tell me this one time. I'm going to scoot over just yeah. a oh, little I'm bit. So sorry. No, I just want to be closer to you. <laughs> um, hey, <sighs> <laughs> Um, I, I was trying to break up with someone and they, they, <laughs> I was, the whole thing. was trying to break up with someone and they and... called me out and said, what is it with you? You think you're just supposed to be happy all the time. Oh. You think you're supposed, you think that's what love is. You think that's what relationships are. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I think so. so I think not like all the time, but at least like 51, 49, like some kind of split, but I just, I, and I then was in that relationship for months more. Yeah. And I, I, it's not to put all of the things about that relationship that weren't great on that person. Mm -hmm. It's just to acknowledge that like that conversation was very revealing and I still let it be. But I'll go back to like letting it go is like a, when I think of letting it go, I think of like specific circumstances, right? Okay. So like, so not, sorry, I know I no, kind of no, got no, off no, topic. That, no, it's good. It's good. But this specific conversation is about letting something go, right? Sorry, I'm, I'm keeping I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm so, so sorry. So I think what you're talking about though is a series of letting things go. Yeah, it's, no, it's like I was the touching, collective letting I was it touching go. on the, the, I was kind of touching on the many subjects that you hit on and being like, this is part of letting it go. Yeah we there's there's a, I again talked about this on Tuesday there's a flip side to every thing right 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 there is the good part of letting it go being able to let things go like certain aspects which like when you were in that mental space mm -hmm. and you were a little sharp with me mm -hmm. the first three four five times I just let it go because I understood no, you had compassion for me, which like, was beautiful. There's a certain amount of that. But also on time number six, I was like, hey, <laughs> the fuck is going on? Hey, bro? Bro. Like, get it together. I was and like, I was like, like, hey, am I am do I smell like no, did, no, I, it was it was like, I and we just fully but we needed to be yeah, oh of course we did. But that's because we've we have the tools to do yes, that. But we did once, not have the tools, I think, you know, 15, 20 years ago to do that. I know, or so, or, or well. 20 years ago as well, we were, a we were teenager, children, so. but um, we were babies, but maybe, <laughs> you know, let's just say like 10 years ago, you yeah. know, we, didn't, we didn't have the tools no, to when properly we met do that. Five years ago, we didn't have these tools. I know. And I think that's, 
that was such a huge part of creating this channel was right. creating right. it to talk about these things because right. nobody gave us a clear instruction on how to do these things. And we were fortunate enough right. to find each other. And this is what we do, whether the cameras are rolling or not. We talk about these things and love and relationships and life all night. This is my best friend in the whole world. You can't have her. She's mine and she's awesome. And I'm just telling you like. But you and I are like stubbornly in love. Oh yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. stubbornly in love. We will make it work <laughs> through what, and I, I feel like that, that sounds bad. That sounds bad, but, but like, honestly, I, I disagree. I disagree with the description. I know what your I, end I, goal I, is. My, my end goal, there's a better way to do it. To say I it, think that but. we are extremely dedicated to understanding our love. Yes, that's it. I, I love you. There is an innate nature to love. And that's that first step that mm -hmm. we all feel and understand and take. And that's the reason that nobody talks about it after that. Cause we're like, well, we all understand it. And when, when you know, you know, no, you, you don't, don't. <laughs> you don't, it's you, you know, that you're attracted to somebody, mm -hmm. you know, that you're starting to feel things, but as soon as you, you can start, start to feel, to feel things, love, but love, love is like a scale that is like, you know, love takes time. Love, takes love is time. action. Oh, if love was a math equation, love equals time action over time mm -hmm. or plus time. I'm not great at math. That's not the point. It's just love plus time or over time equals Yes. Fuck me. I said it wrong. Action over time action. equals love. Negronis. Like neg equals Negronis. <laughs> <laughs> Paraphrasing mm. slash blah, 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 is Negronis. But no, I agree. I agree with you. And I think we are, we are dedicated to understanding our love and like, and constantly doing that. We constantly work at it. Yes. It is not easy. I think uh, I get, you know, I, sometimes I make Instagram posts that are, that are a little, you know, uh, forward because I'm like, this did not happen overnight. And people, you know, DM yeah. us, you guys are so lucky, like, lucky. No, I, I waited, I searched, I fucking dated toads. You guys. And then we met and she fought like and a I, fucking we, beast. We fought, we fought for each other and we continue to fight for each other. We didn't just like you know, resolve and that like, it is a constant life is a constant battle, but if you do it well and we equip ourselves with the right tools, right? Mm -hmm. We can get so much joy that life will always be painful to some extent. Like there, there's no, like no one's, no one's like saying that this will be pain-free, you know, just being a human being is painful in any literally I'm, in all don't worry capacities. i'm gonna offer up an opposite no, no, no. version but the, i agree but the exchange of joy that can happen if we love well and live well love ourselves well love others well like is is beyond immeasurable yes. right so the, the exchange is like obviously so worth doing this so well. so i'm just going to reword what you're saying yes yes life will always inevitably have bouts of pain mm. pain will be included on the color palette of life with all those other emotions of happiness, exaltation, joy, laughter, pain, worry, anxiety, like certain things, they will always be there. It's how you deal with them. Yeah. And I think acknowledging that, uh, also you said, you know, life is painful. Life or life can, you know, be painful. Life is a series, I would rephrase that into life is a series of choices. Mm. Life is, all of it, like we just said, you know, action over time equals love. And that is how we love ourselves. That's how we share love. Mm -hmm. We take actions that represent those things that we want. Now, with regards to letting it go, you and I have spent a long time, uh, well, like over a decade, have making those decisions, all those tiny decisions that lead towards letting go, not letting go certain things, the mm -hmm. surface things until they become a problem. And there, that was yeah. what led to the fault line fight, the LA fight, the yes, big fault yes. line of our relationship. I mean, letting, letting things go. Yeah, exactly. And that, and that, that was, put that, a pin in that, put a pin in that. I like that. Put a pin in that. That was from a meeting today. It was. Um, put a pin in that. The, the, but no, truly mentally, because we're going to, we're going to grody ourselves out and then someone put a pin in that. Yeah. 
<laughs> but if we don't talk about it here, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll put it in another video called put a pin in that. <laughs> but the, the thing that I wanted to say is there's, you know, this letting it go, I'm talking about these dramatic things right now, but then sometimes they're tiny things that we can't let go, right? We can't let go of the fact that I hate the way you brush your teeth, not you. I'm oh, just like, say that. that's so I, rude. I, I'm making it. No, I, I love you. How would you? I'm obsessed with you and your I do it teeth. Like They're a, beautiful. I, I You're a so turkey cute. Knife. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. Okay. <laughs> Blue grass, don't look. Okay. I'm talking so about, weird. I'm just using this random example because okay. I, I hear this a lot, right? Yeah. Which is weird. Hey, the way he brushes his teeth, he spits everywhere and blah, 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 and the toothpaste goes everywhere and it irritates me to no end and I just can't. Like, why does that bother you so much? <laughs> that, that's what bothers you? If it's that atrocious to you, I think there's something else irking you. I think there's something else irking you. So A, you can't let that go, right? B, there's there, that's like the minute thing that you have to do some, some time with yourself, mm -hmm. write it down so you can look at it and face the truth. There's something else under that, right? right? So that that's like minor circumstance number one what why can't you let it go that he you know forgot blah 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 he forgot to get the freaking onion at the grocery store he got everything else but he didn't get the goddamn onion. and you're like so angry about why are you you then then that's a reflection on you or 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 telling you teaching you something else that you're mad about yeah. that you're not acknowledging right then there's like that halfway point like they did something really freaking, you know, rude. Like they said this really rude thing to me, Oof. Yeah. you know, and I'm not saying even, we're not even at the cheating level, but like that just, you were really mean. Yeah, that no, day. getting into it, getting, when you get into an argument and then instead of, you know, doing it to get to a better love, you just yeah. fucking like you lash out. And we've all been there. We've all, Absolutely. we've we, all been, been way, there, yeah, you know, way, like, way above our weight class something and, that like, happened at work and you are already on the brink of and and just something happened and you took i took it out on you mm -hmm. you know and i'm so sorry but in that moment my emotional elevation was so high but if but if afterwards i can't say oh my god i'm sorry or whether i come to it first or you say hey that was so uncalled for. And I can't say, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Or you can't get past, or, or if after it, I can't, you know, you can't get past it. Like, what, it, what is it that, why, you know? With what things like, and what why? and why? And I think it's, it has to do with, are we already harboring resentment for something totally unrelated or related, but mm -hmm. have we dealt with this like a million times? You know, are we harboring resentment and hurt you know, because I promise you, if it is a first time offense, yeah. you're probably going to let it go. If it is like the thousandth time offense, yeah. you're going to harbor resentment. Anytime it happens more than once, it starts, that means it's a pattern. Right, and right. that means you're going to have a harder time letting it go. So if you don't on that second time, call it out, there right. will be a, there, you know, chances are technically 50, 50, but chances are there'll be a, third time the thing is we are not wizards right believe it or not what i know i think i'm a witch but we're we're not i've been watching we're all actually, the harry potter know, films this halloween i, I thought i was I know, I'm so sorry. We're actually, that's not we're muggles i i've told you this the whole okay time first of all definitely not a muggle that's ridiculous but, right. well we don't have we're not wizards maybe i don't know we'll figure it out maybe you're not but <laughs> I, I think do, you're pretty I, magical i do think i'm a witch but in a good way the point is, like, we don't, oh, what was the point? I don't know, put a pen in it. Put a pen in that. Well, no, my point, my point is though, like, we. S slowly, the new, the new part of the love, slowly <laughs> getting sloshed and talking about <laughs> very dramatic, I'm not Xing this, this out. Is... No, 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 you already called it when you, I'm not going to say what you did, but you did something and I have to cut that. I'm not cutting oh. this. Okay, fine. We're not wizards and we can't just like, you know, be perfect and, and, you know, and forget and, and forgive and all forget and forgive instantly. And we shouldn't, that's why we're human. Yeah. And, oh, this is, this was my point though. 
we're we're not only not wizards we're more akin to like uh puppies is is what i i'd like to describe it as when i'm you, so excited to hear this i mean i love about puppies this on tuesday oh, okay. when you give a dog a treat you reward oh. them for whatever for whatever behavior they they the inherently pavlovian nature exactly. of the human species is nothing to scoff at right. it's real it is real of course it so is so whether you We're get a treat or not like if you let okay missy for example our, our little white maltese who is a 14 year old amazing beast of a unicorn baby puppy right yeah she she gets away with murder because i have let her get away with more murder mortar yeah and rewarded her for it over oh, the yeah. years. Like, and I don't necessarily mean I, I give her a treat, but she does something really bad and I can't help but just go back to her because she's an angel. Yeah, she's and very cute. Animals, I will say, are a different story. So that does not apply to this conversation. Oh, if good. you have well, like, an asshole little it. puppy, like just keep rewarding it because they are angels on earth and that is fine like that's totally even fine. when they're monsters but, they're still better than people <laughs> absolutely but as far as people go if you don't call me out for my behavior it's almost like you rewarded me mm -hmm. because you're still here i'm still getting love technically i still get wow. to be with you i still get to have all second the round of truth bombs right i still get to have oh. all the rewards of being with you and you might be a little annoyed with me but like i'll get over it and i got away with this thing and if you don't put your foot down with me, then I can get away with it again. And then maybe again. And then see, we get into a pattern. But see, this is the hard part about this conversation and about a lot of the different parts of love that we talk about. Um, this is the hard truth. Mm -hmm. The hard truth is the reality that we have a hand in what happens in our relationships mm -hmm. obviously not always there are extenuating circumstances you know of course but the exception proves the rule whatever mm -hmm. all of those things however if you're in a relationship that fucking sucks we we have to take responsibility yeah. for the choices that led us to that place right where abc happened right again we are not always in charge of that. There are many, many extenuating circumstances, but there are many fewer than we give ourselves credit for. Absolutely. I was in that relation, both relationships that I've talked about today, this relationship, you know, ways that I've acted in this relationship, the pull the pen out fault line argument that we had in LA where our relationship was on the line. That was not because we had just, you know, we just, woke up on Tuesday and we just weren't the same people. No. We had been moving towards that for a moment and because of choices that both of us made, but like I can, again, only speak for myself, because of the choices I made, I couldn't see myself clearly, couldn't see the pain I was causing you, couldn't see why those situations, like why but I, everything had led who, there. Um... I hate to say it like on, on, I guess if you were to put it on paper might at first seem more, uh, taken advantage of. Yeah. More in the right. Um, I have equal responsibility because looking back, I wish that I was self-aware enough to have Nick, not, not to you, Nick, Nick to us, just been like, nipped it Hey, the been like nipped it in the bud. Be like, no yeah we're not doing but this i had gotten into a pattern of letting things go letting things go letting things go because yeah. i was like let it go and that's why i like this conversation i'm not saying you should let it go i'm yeah. saying why do we let things go why can't we let things go pay attention to it and i actually didn't let it go i'm acting like the cool girl right because i or i was you know I, i'd be like it's fine I was harboring and harboring mm -hmm. and harboring this resentment. And then when I finally couldn't let it go anymore, it was like, yeah, I exploded everywhere because I had been harboring. I was surprised nobody came to the door that night. I mean, I was like a monster's university, like 
like jelly everywhere. I did live with a Satanist upstairs. I, I thought he may have come downstairs and been like, hey, is Satan here? Because you guys are yelling really loud. You guys, we had the weirdest. It was, weirdest oh man, that place, that, that place was so weird. Leather Daddy? Um, West Hollywood. Hell. Woo! Get it. We're actually not coming for West Hollywood. It was just. No, not time. at all. Um, but either way, yeah, you know, like people. I, that was on paper, people could easily be like, you're a lunatic. Yeah. But I let it get there. I let it get there knowingly, acceptingly. And I am a smart girl, you guys. Like, I'm a smart girl. I knew it. And I let it get there. And I'm over here giving advice to everyone I love. And meanwhile, I, I lost track of my own stuff. Well, see, this is, this is the reason that I love that we created this channel. It's not that we're saying that we have all the answers we and don't. that we've always had all the answers and we, we know better. And that's true. You should listen to us because of that. No. If you find value in what we say, good. But we're hoping to do something similar to, honestly, what my dad said to me when I was young and what he said to me the last time that I saw him, which is, I just, if you can learn from my mistakes, yes. or, or hold on, let me, I can't I can do his accent. Nobody. I just uh, feel like if there's any way that you can learn from my mistakes, if there's anything that I can impart to you. He talks very slowly. He uses his hands a lot. I just hope that something that I did, that I did wrong, the mistakes I made, that you don't have to make those mistakes because I want that for you. I want you to, hell, son, you're already better than I ever been. And you're just like, uh, and the point being, the goal of this channel is to accept that we have made these mistakes. You don't have to make them in that same way. And inevitably you will just like inevitably I made half the, you know, or fucking 90% of the mistakes that he made. But the point is there's something to these things that we're saying, they are based out of our true love story. And, and they're based out of truth. And I will say though, I had people tell me, give me certain tidbits of advice, but there was never an open platform for me to genuinely come to and look to, or like not even just a platform. I got platforms didn't exist back then. The internet was new, you know, <laughs> just kidding. Of course, sorry. No one was alive then. <laughs> I was the last person of our whole, reference. like, you know, freaking generation to get a cell phone. So yeah, yeah, no, she had a flip phone when we met and there were <laughs> that was like not 2000. a lot of flip phones out yeah. there. Um, it was only 10 years ago. And she was like, yeah. No, 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 it's fine. It's My fine. Blue, no, yeah, flip it. flip yeah, it was yeah. a purple Motorola Razor, yeah. which when I was in high school was the coolest <laughs> cell phone that anybody had because none of us had cell phones. Yeah, I kept that thing till 2010, 11, maybe. <laughs> it like, let's keep it up. Either way, it was, it was rough. The point of all of this has to do with letting it go, mm -hmm. why we do it, and why we can't do it. Yeah. And I think that. I know uh, just if we're talking about personal experiences, let's get into the personal experience mm -hmm. section of this, as it were. I didn't let it go when I didn't understand what it was that I was supposed to be letting go. Mm -hmm. And that's why we say for the third time, what and why? Yes. Ask the question, what is happening? What am I feeling? What is really going on? And why is it happening? Why am I feeling like this? Why is this really going on? Yes. Because the what is where most of us stop, mm -hmm. but the why is where most of us grow and go forward. Right. So, and this question is so, I think it was, in, it's interesting to me too, this question, why can't I let it go? You know, because there's so many books out there um, that, that are coming out, uh, let's say platforms that are coming out about there, there is literally this book uh, that this this girl and I respect her a lot. Um, let that shit go, oh. you know. And there, there's is that a lot Jane of um, no, but someone in in the industry, okay. and it's it's great. It's a great book and it has a great advice. But my my add on to that is 
what happens after that book? And what happens when we've thought about that? And what happens when we've actually let the shit go that we should let go, right? Great. Hopefully you've done the work, right? You've been with us long enough or haven't done can the we work. Put, can, we, can we put a pin, put in, a pin that? in it? Let that shit go. Just that statement alone is such a common thing. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's something that I talk about a lot on, on the refinery, which is we have this over inundation of, you know, these, these great quotes and these inspiring memes and everybody on your social media feed is apparently a lion or a tiger (laughs) or a bear or a wolf or some kind of, you know, animal, because that's what it's really Mm -hmm. about. And the truth is, I think that we, we hear so many of these things, like let that shit go. And it feels so approachable. And it's also so momentarily endearing and momentarily kind of, uh, revealing, um, what's the word that I'm looking for when you have, you have kind of an epiphany, Mm. you know, and it's that, it's got that air to it of, yeah, "Yeah, just, just let that shit go. Like it's harboring you. It's Mm. holding you down. But the only way to let it go is to know what you're letting go Mm -hmm. and why it happened in the first place and why it affected you. Oh my God. Did Did we get I think the camera again. shut off, but it's still recording. So Should I think we do I'm, another Zoom session? No, no, no. It's still recording. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to change oh, the battery oh, out. Zoom is still going back. The Z- camera. Every, yeah, the, the camera just died. It's okay. Do you uh, want to refill? Are you yes. Good? You know what? We're going to use this to refill. Everybody take a two-minute break. Take a two-minute. We still recording? Oh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're back. We're back. Sorry, the battery died in the camera computer thing. Um, yes, why not a fresh it. cheers? Because we have a fresh batch. Whoa, these um, were in the freezer. Oh. oh my God, better than the first. Why did I? Oh. Better than the first. Oh. oh. <laughs> um, I don't know why I. Either way, camera died. You were talking. I was talking about um, people that are really. Uh, focusing on letting that shit go there's books oh, out oh, there from sorry. people that i love sorry we, that was the pen and yeah, that, that was okay pen so and you took it out i didn't take it out yet oh, so okay. sorry i'm selfish about no, this no no it's a missy here she needs she needs i'm sorry put a pen in this this is double pen every, nothing, it's a nothing very rare double pen come here come here oh, <laughs> come on this is maya okay. this is our other bear and monster so that's messy there's maya bear okay okay we got the fluffies all right oh, oh. say hello <laughs> Hey, baby. Oh, Missy has a haircut. <laughs> okay, so. Um, so, taking the So, we were talking about just, yeah, sorry. Oh. <laughs> we were talking about just that general idea of letting that shit go, but the what and the why is so important. Yes. And that's all that I wanted to touch on was just really pushing that. And I know this is the fourth or fifth time we've said that, but there's a reason we've said that. And it's because it is so important. And one of the things that you're going to find if you're, uh, you know, if you, if you haven't already subscribed, please feel free. Mm -hmm. Um, But one of the things you're going to find on our channel is that it's kind of that Gary V situation of, you know, you're going to hear certain things over and over. And when you kind of really search through them, you're going to find that some of these things come down to a very simple set of rules uh, or general rules, very general, because it's going to be person to person and relationship to relationship, but writing things down, Mm -hmm. not, not just like letting it go, but write it down and acknowledge it, have that in front of you. That's one of the things that we talk about all the time. When you what write and it down, why. it becomes, it becomes a becomes, physical thing you can no longer ignore, which is a scary thing to do. Absolutely. Number two, what and why? And yes. these aren't necessarily in order. Three, self-love, which may be honestly the very top, most important pinnacle of what we talk about on this channel. Everything comes back to that. And I just, I just, want to make it known if you are new here or if you are not remember there's a reason that everything comes back to this and and touching on that Gary V thing Mm -hmm. is I love that he said one time and I'm sure he said it many times but in this particular speech he said you know a lot of people come on you know my channel now and they say dude I'm unsubscribed and this is the same old shit and he goes that's because it's true that's I'm not making it up we're not reinventing the wheel 
we're and just it letting you know still what needs it is. To be heard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I still need these messages. Yeah. We're the ones saying them and we need to hear them. Mm -hmm. I edit these videos and while I'm editing these videos, I watch them and go, oh yeah. man. And I learned so much because yeah, we, we just, we forget some of those things. The oh, last thing go, I want to say go, go, go. is that I think, uh, and sort of what I was getting at with the, with go. the culture of things now for, for us, um, more forward thinking people that, that do, oh, sorry. It's okay. It was recording on here. So we're uh, okay. for, for us that are, you know, more forward thinking and do the self work and, the, and, and are constantly working towards better, our better self, mm -hmm. our higher self. I, I, uh, want to say this compassionately to us because I struggle with this. I get mad at myself sometimes when I can't let something go. And I go, Angelina, you're better than this. Don't harbor this. Let it go. And I go, wait a minute. Is this like, um, because the group of people that I hang with are like, no, you don't need to hold on to that. You're better than that. You're forward thinking. Let's not harbor resentment. And, in, and so I find myself in this new age, beautiful. I don't feel like your closest friends do that. No. I feel like in general, the, the artistic community. To, yes, the people that I look up to, yes, the the people people up to some of the authors I look up to, some yeah. of the um, just, you know, and, and they're amazing people. And I understand the message and I so appreciate it because it has carried me very far. Yes. But I get down on myself sometimes because I'm like, well, why can't I let this Why go? can't I do that? Why am I not good enough? And I think that is a God wink a hint from your soul, whatever you want to call it, going, pay attention to this thing. You can't let it go. I'm going to keep stabbing you, you mm -hmm. little voodoo doll, until you freaking listen to whatever this is, because this is something to pay attention to. Why can you not let it go? Is it because you haven't communicated your heart? Because that person isn't respecting you? Because, uh, you know, we've covered the, the gamut of things well, we've that talked could be about going it, but on. I think, I think reviewing it is a good thing because there is always a reason you can't let it go. Mm -hmm. There is always a reason someone cheats. There is always a reason you hate the way someone brushes their teeth, right. apparently, apparently being a big thing. But it's, it's, it's doing the self work to go deep into those layers to really examine why can I not let it go? Yes. Um, and I think that I had to, I, I'm glad that I'm finally, I think in a roundabout way, I went off in this massive, amazing tangent with everybody mm -hmm. and you that I got to the point of, well, why can't you let it go? And sometimes you have to get to the root of it. It takes that long to get to the root of it and go, that's why. Like, yeah. And I, I've found, at least in my life and experience, that so many of the things that I can't let go are like, I go, well, why can't you let this go? Well, because of this. Well, why is that so affecting you? Well, because of this. Right. Well, why is that so affecting you? And it always comes back. It's like a funnel. Right. I mean, it's like a family tree and it all comes back to that one like thing that at the one bottom. Thing. And, and to some degree, and not always, obviously, again, we're hyper generalizing, but the truth is so much of what we do and experience can like you you can trace it back you can go to a place and understand it. And if you absolutely cannot by, you know, talking to yourself, by writing, by doing those things, then we can look outward for mm -hmm. help and we can yes. go to books and mentors. And I, I tend to stray oh. from anyone who knows me though. Yes. I think this is an important thing that we have, have not talked about before. We're going to get into a whole that. other video mm -hmm. about this, but I do not believe that, uh, and, and this is kind of a, an extreme tangent, but I think that if someone is too close to you, they can't see you clearly. Yes. You can yes. see yourself clearly. You do know where your holes are. You may not want to admit them and you may not fully accept them, mm -hmm. but you, you probably know where they are. And if you don't, then you've got some awesome work ahead of you. And when you start getting that place where you can see those holes and you just won't acknowledge them, Someone who's close to you, depend unless you're very, very lucky, may not be willing to call you out. Why? Full circle back to the relationship thing, because they don't want to lose you. Whether it's romantic Absolutely. relationships but or I, otherwise, I family, find that friends. Friendships are the most difficult um, place to be honest in because I 
family is rarely going to leave you. <laughs> so you can fight it out with family. That's also colored by a million, a mil other million issues. things, but like, in, you know, okay, fine. Well, we're, that, we're but, blood. So I can treat, you know, we're blood. I can say what I want. And that is not, I'm not standing by that, but I'm saying, you know, I've witnessed, I've witnessed that in, in yeah, yeah, my yeah, own yeah. circumstances and, and hearing friends, about people, yeah. friends, family, whatever. And with relationships, it's always, you know, relationships are experimental, right? It doesn't have to last forever. It's like, you know, but, but friendships for me is, I mean, because I, I just put so much behind friendships. Um, I'm scared to be to have anything confrontational happen with friendships because I do not want to lose them because I so appreciate yeah. them. I so value them. I'm terrified of losing people that I love that I've acquired over the course of my life that I value. Um, I'm terrified to lose them. And so it's, it's hard for me to be honest with them. So in the, I, I can't believe this is happening, but this is cool. No, actually I should, I take that back. It's not hard for me to be honest with friends. It's hard for me to sometimes express if something, you know, hurts me deeply and, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, you yeah. know, I, no, the confrontation aspect yeah, of yeah. friends and, and people you're closest to. However, mm. there's an, there is, we also talk about how love and certain relationships come in seasons. Some are long seasons, some are short seasons, yeah. those things, but what's the hardest thing for us to do let to let it go. <laughs> Full circle. So we talk so much about love and what love really is and not just the equation of love, but like why I hate the word nice. I, and I probably shouldn't say hate. I should say that the word nice holds no value to me. Yeah, it doesn't hold any value. Fine. Yeah, fine, good, good enough. enough, nice. Those are all in, in a very similar category for me. They nice hold no value is... to me, but being kind, which is, used interchangeably but is entirely different in my view than right. being nice nice is just just being pleasant yep nice is pleasant pleasantries those things the the useless things that hold us all in our fucking mental cages without ever telling us that that's what's going on where they're invisible walls because it's just nice it's just right. pleasant it's bullshit kind is not always nice and the kind thing to do for a friend is to tell them the hard truth sometimes. The kind thing is the thing that my friends did on one of my jobs. When I was in a certain relationship, they said, and yeah. you similarly had this experience the kind with thing your- is that my best friend- Our maid of honor. Said- Nope, not doing this I anymore. I love you, I cannot like, do this. Yeah, like, like if you keep down this road, I can't be a part of it anymore because I love you too much to watch you do this. So I will let you go to help you. I will let you go because also at the end of the day, and this is very, very important. You cannot let shit go if it's hurting you mm -hmm. more than it's helping you long-term. You know what I mean? Like she said that to you because she was like, I am affected negatively by this and I love myself enough and say, you yeah. enough to, to make such a strong statement to say, hey, I will tell you in so many words yeah. to fuck off with love, prayers, namaste, but mm. get the fuck out of yeah. here if you're going to act like this, because I am not friends with this person. Yes. This is not the version of you. And I think yes. that's a hard thing for us to do is to be willing to let somebody go to better ourselves and them. Instead, we say, no, we're better off together, which is a mixture of two things. One of which is fear mm -hmm. of being alone and being uncomfortable and two is a fear that maybe they will be better off. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's true. Maybe I can't fix them. Maybe I'm not the answer and it's ego and our ego gets in the way and just goes, mm -hmm. fuck you. Do not let them go because if they go and they are happy or better versions of themselves somewhere else, it's something wrong with you when it's not necessarily. Mm -hmm. it, there are a million aspects. I wish nothing but the best for everybody that I've talked about here tonight. And I know the same for you. Absolutely. Like even, even the ones that for lack of a better term, just in our time with them <laughs> sucked. Like, yeah, I, mean, I the, want them to be yeah, happy. The thing about exes is like, they clearly came Thank into our you. life. Next. Yes. They Video. come to you for a reason. They come to you to show you 
a, a, a mirror, right? They come to you to give you lessons, to show you lessons, to learn, to push you, whatever it is, right? And we get so many gifts from sometimes the most painful times of our life, the most painful experiences, but the gifts that we get from those times, beautiful. You cannot, you can't, they're gold, right? You can't learn about them from a book. You can't just, you can't learn about, yeah. unfortunately, and I, I say this with nothing but love in my heart and through the YouTube sphere or wherever you watch this or hear this, you cannot get true knowledge like you do from experience you can't i don't want that for you but that it kind of circles back to what i was talking about with my dad like you don't you can want me to learn those lessons because you told me all you want and there's a there's an attitude about that what i will say is the lessons that i learned from either reading or from philosophy or from study or from friends or from family parents whoever that told me before it happened mm -hmm happened once mm. because I went, fuck, they oh, were I right. Oh I no, this. I have a yeah. frame of reference for this. Right. And that's the goal of the channel. The goal of the channel is not going to save you. And I, and I, I wish, I wish I could. But it I, will turn on. And I think uh, the more conversation we all have, right. It yeah. will, it will turn on that alertness to go, Oh, this is what my friends were talking about. It's a this frame of reference. Were... That's exactly. it. That, that's what it is. We're giving you a frame of reference so to you say what you're feeling it. is a... normal. Yes. It is yes. real. It is okay. But maybe this next time that it happens to you, maybe you don't go down the road that we went down, you know, yeah. 17 times. Maybe you're like, oh, I felt that. Oh, I heard that before. Oh, I yeah. see. Like, I'm hoping that <laughs> our experience gives you like one more check mark in the in that column of cons. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like, nope, don't want to do that because I just went through that. Plus, they went through that. Plus, my friend went through that. And you can start right. to see it more clearly because it, had somebody, had somebody, when I had that conversation with her, been like someone that I and and, and I mean this with the utmost love to anybody that I did talk to about this and have forgotten since excuse me, had enough people after that conversation, had I shared it with people and them been like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right. That's insane. And, and more, more politely been like, you actually deserve a better love than that. You are worth a better love than that. And that's what we're saying to you with every video that you see on this channel, whether or not we say these words directly, I will say them here you are worth the love you deserve and only you know what love you deserve. And honestly, a lot of times we don't even accept that we know what love we deserve. Right. But, but do that work, do that work starting within, with yourself, because that's what we, that's what this is about. It's yeah. about truly not to be cliche, that self-love, that self-awareness, do that. Work it all comes back first. to that. It's all the self-love yes. and the self-work and those things. That's yes. always what it is. And that will always guide you. It will never steer you wrong. Mm -hmm. It will never. This has been a great. This has been, I, this has this been a really a longer fun than episode usual, for us. Yeah. I don't even know but how I, long. I don't know. But I, I had a know. lot it of fun tell with me this time. one. Um, yeah. I can't wait for next week. Yeah. I'm already excited about the next, I think I said about. Uh -huh. I think I kind of like said, I don't uh know. -huh. Uh, I'm already excited about the next time that we get to talk publicly about this. I feel like we may just record another one in the next couple of days instead of waiting for the Thursday episode because this has been really, really great. It has been. I love you. I love Thank you. you. This time. Um, Tuesday, you guys will be live. We'll be live every Tuesday for coffee and tea. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> and I um, I did that. I yeah, got a drink we're right here. It, it's same style. We're talking about love, talking about all things love. But you guys are here with us. It's, yeah, and it's there's a there's a pretty interactive chat room that's going on, yeah. and we tackle the problems and the questions that come up as they come up. And I I I absolutely love that. I we adore this community. Thank you so much for being here, for watching this much. If you want to see more videos, uh, you can subscribe right here on that face right there on my face boom she keeps moving her face <laughs> but it's it's over here and then there's videos 
above my face and then below my face, like I think my nose is out, but um, relationships up, dating down, check it out. Let us know what you want to see on the channel in the future. Thanks so much.